This video shows how to use multiple layers with the Combine Image and Mosaic Layer tool. As an example, uh, you might want to sharpen just the luminance of this image and not change in any way the color, the red, green, and blue data. Now, there's a lot of different ways to do that in Images Plus, but using the Combine Images and Mosaic tool, what you would do is first of all split this color image into its components and then I'm going to set each one of those components to 50 percent display and since I no longer need the color image I'm going to rebuild this image with a sharpened luminance version so I can close it. Now I've got see my color components here and what I want to do is get them into the mosaic and combine images layer tool to rebuild that that color image with sharpened luminance so I'll use combine images using blend opacity and mask okay so it builds me a combination image and puts all those images in this layer tree and again, I'm going to make that combination image 50% display. Now, I've got a lot of images here, and it's can be the more you have, the harder it is to manage them. So what I like to do is use this stack option, and that doesn't add the images together. It just puts each one of these four image windows plus the combination window on top of each other. And then I can use these buttons to manage it. See, if I want to look at the, uh, let's say, the red image, I select it and then press image and it comes to the top of the display. If I want to go back to luminance, if I had a mask associated with the luminance, which we'll do shortly, I would press the mask button. If I want to see the combination image, you press that. Uh, if I change any of these components, which is easy to do and that's an advantage of using this combined images uh, window. Uh, I would change it, bring it to the top of the display, make it the active window, change it using that process history layered window and then press apply and that will bring the combination window with the changes to the top. Okay, but uh, Let's get back to building this color image Im with a uh, sharpened luminance. Uh, my combination image is at the top here. It looks like it's just the luminance. And it is just the luminance because the luminance is the top of the layer stack and its blend mode is normal. And that means to take and replace the image created by every layer under it, replace that image with the luminance image, which is this grayscale image. So what I really want to do is I want to use the luminance component as luminosity to the color image made by these three beneath it. So I'll change it to luminosity blend mode. Okay. Now what it's doing is it's acting as a luminosity on the blue data and it looks like all blue and that's because if I look at the blue component its blend mode is also normal. So the blue is replacing all of the green and red underneath it. What I want to do is change that to add. So now the blue component is just added or used as blue data in the color image. It doesn't replace the color image like normal blend mode does. I've got blue and green showing now. Okay, let's go to the green layer. Again, its blend mode is normal. It's it's totally hiding the red underneath so I'll change its blend mode to add and then I'll have my color image uh, now red it's the bottom layer and it it's normally set to normal there is nothing beneath it so you do want to use all of it but you could do it as an add layer too to add the red data into just the red channel of the combination image. Okay, so now we've got our, our color image back, but now we have access to the 
different layers and we can assign mass and blend modes to each one of these layers. Let's go back to luminance and display that. I want to sharpen it. Okay. Let's bring up the sharpening tool. Uh, apply it. Well, I don't want to sharpen the dark background, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the min apply. And I kind of want to sharpen everything, including this faint nebula part out in the outer area and brighter. So that will set it. I'll give it a little bit of a feather range, and that'll exclude the very dark area. I still have black halos around the bright stars here. If I check Reduce Artifacts, press Apply, that'll get rid of uh, those uh, dark halos. Uh, what we have now is the, a sharpened version of the luminance. To look at the combination, you can go back to it, but I've changed the luminance layer since the combination image was built, so press Apply to update it with the sharpened luminance. See, that's now the color image with sharpened luminance added to it. Uh, okay. Perhaps I want to use a mask on the luminance to further help control where the sharpening applies. Okay, let's go back to the luminance. Check it. Make it the active layer in the tree. Press the image button. And uh, now I'm going to press the uh, luminance button. That makes a luminance mask. And again, go back to 50% display. And I'm just going to put, put it over here. And I want to assign this mask to this sharpened luminance. So I'm going to check the add box. And with luminance selected in the tree, click on the mask. See now this mask is, is associated with the, uh, the luminance layer in, in the uh, image layer tree and to rebuild the uh, combination image you can press apply. Every time you make a change to one of these uh, components or add a mask or change the mask uh, press Apply and then press Combination to display the uh, the sharpened version. Uh, now th this kind of this kind of layering is called luminance layering, and there's only one luminance layer, uh, so it's it's a single luminance layering. You could use multiple luminance layers there and get very fine control of how that luminance is being layered and that would be called multiple luminance layering. And on the uh, Images Plus website there are a lot of examples that show you how to do multiple luminance layering where these components can be narrow band or LRG from a CCD or the luminance could be an H alpha from a DSLR and the color could be a single color image from a DSLR and you can uh, use that H alpha to improve the color and, and red and detail in, in the color DSLR image. Uh, so you can mix single channel and multi-channel images here, assign masks and blend modes to each layer and if you want to change any of it you would just click the layer edit the blend mode, edit opacity, add a mask. The thing that's nice about using this combined images is that the mask for this layer is open and it has its own process history stack. So if I want to sharpen this mask, for example, what I could do to open the sharpening tool with the mask as the current image, smooth it, Uh, and then press apply to update the combination image and all of the images are open and they're all readily available to edit and change and then you just rebuild your uh, your combination image from all the layers 
uh, once you've changed any one of the parameters of any of the layers. So that's really the, the power of this combined images. It's also real useful for uh, combining different images, like the first layer could be the core of M42. The second layer could be a little bit longer exposure to get more of the outer detail. And the third layer could be uh, uh, a very long exposure to get the faintest detail. And then you can assign masks to those and, and layer them and adjust each one of the masks and layers interactively to get the best blend without having to save images and transfer between programs and things of that type. But again, this is really the most general layer stack in Images Plus. Each one, I mean, you can layer with blend, opacity, and mask images of different size and color. You can, you can layer color images with monochrome images, all monochrome images, all color images, and you can shift the position of them around by right-clicking on the uh, combination window and what I've just done is I've moved the component that's selected wherever I want to go with the mouse. Or you could use these guys to move it around. So you can do all this layering in a mosaic and shift the components around as well. Uh, and that's basically what this uh, combined images is for. If you want to just enhance a single image by applying smoothing, sharpening, color adjustment, and all that, this tool will do that but it takes a little bit longer. It's almost too general. If you want to smooth, sharpen, and adjust color of a single image, use this image layer stack, the process history, because it's just it's right to the point and direct. But you can't take two different exposures and combine them with process history. To do that, you have to use combined images. Okay?